So, a little trip to CEX, I'm checking out the movies. Now, I've done this because I wanted to mute the music, and because it's awful in CEX, isn't it, to be honest with you. There's some nice 4Ks. Oh, I actually didn't spot that. Schindler's List, I might have took that. Uh, it's because I was distracted by behind enemy lines. What else have we got here? £12 for Schindler's List, I should have took that. Some James Bond and some of this terrific cover reprinting. Underworld USA, I maybe would have looked at that one. I had a little, little bit of a budget, but it's all vouchers that I spend in CEX anyway. So I'm just having a look round. I've seen Annie Hall with Woody Allen, but I've never actually seen any Woody Allen movies. I just don't think he's my type of guy in terms of movies, but I was tempted to pick up oh, that one for six pounds. Annie Hall, it said it was his first one. Breakthrough one, it said. So, as you can see, I've still got enemy lines grasped in my hand. And then I seen this one, which is an arrow release of After Midnight with a slipcover limited edition for £5. So I thought, mm, that's pretty good. <laughs> Book of Eli, what a good movie that is. Although I've already got it. Pretty common stuff up there, but I did have a little look at that one. Oh! I didn't see that one either. Broken arrow down there. I really wasn't paying attention. I don't think I've got broken arrow, I don't. This is the CEX, it's quite far away from me as well. I should have picked that uh, broken arrow the and the Schindler's List, I should have got them. How much is broken arrow? Do we ever go back to it? Do we go back all? Well, if I don't, we well, just ignored it. I picked up that one and I had it in my hand because I've got The Hunger Games but I've not got very good copies. So I thought I might be able to replace it. But I ended up not. High Noon, a Eureka title. Masters of Cinema. Thought why might want to see that and then I broke the break of the place. And took Hidden out. And another little look round. The, the CEX in here, the Blu-ray section seems to have been half in size. There was tons of DVDs. Look at that terrible camera work there for the Inferno. Ah, that's what I was looking at. Go, grown-ups. Adam Sandler. My favourite. My daughter actually uh, said she watched that recently and she enjoyed it. Home Alone, Lost in New York, the second one. I picked that one up in a charity shop for £2. And it wasn't until recently I opened that and it's got the DVD in it. What else have we got? What else am I looking at? Do we go and look back on the Broken Arrow? Oh, The Descent Part 2. Again, my camera work isn't so good here, is it? And another Arrow release. Drag me to hell. I think I've got that one. Is that the descent part one? I don't think I've got that. I missed so much here. So don't be afraid of the dark premium collection and a big DVD case that is going to sell. Let's see what else we have. Edge of Darkness, uh, Escape from New York. Another Woody Harrison one for four pound. If I had more vouchers, I might have picked those ones up, and also I definitely would have picked up Broken Arrow and Chisels. This how did I miss that? Fixed bayonets. That was one I was considering as well. Always nice to look around the CEX when you've got a minute or two.
should have put it should have picked up I guess you know. I can't really go back there now, it's too far away. But you know, you win some, you lose some, you get what you get. You still can't see what price on that book in other words. I'm sure I'll see when I'm off to watch him on the bigger screen. I picked that one up as well, the boy next door was considering that one. So, just a quick round of the CEX Cameron Toll one, which I don't visit too often. Hope you've enjoyed the short video. And maybe I'll try and do more voiceovers in the future. I could have added, I could add on the, the end of this video, but I think I'm just going to leave it as that. Quick right look down the CX. Alright, thanks guys, and I'll catch you next time.